Hi guys, it's Michael G0POT here at the base of Snowdon, um, about to start up the Watkin path, uh, hoping to activate three summits today. Um, I don't know whether I can do the pronunciation justice. It's uh, Hluith, um, Snowdon itself, and then a smaller summit, Aaron. We're going to see what the conditions are like. It's about four degrees C here at the base. Um, uh, brisk wind i think it's going to be much colder on the top especially the, with the wind chill factor and uh, i think uh, very very windy today 70 to 80 kilometers uh, per hour wind so uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenging activation and also i'm not sure what the summit situation is like in respect to snow so we might find we have to abort and i'm ready to do that and just give it up but uh, hopefully we'll get to activate at least one summit um, and fingers crossed all three The plan route starts at the car park at Nant Guinant at the start of the Watkin path. I took about 20 minutes to find the right car park. I recommend popping it into your sat-nav before your trip. From here I'll head north, northwest, through the woods, then up past the Ford and Gladstone Rock into Cum Llan, before turning north into Cum Tregallan, where the path starts to get rather steep. I'll continue up until I hit the ridge that runs between Snowdon and Hluith, and from here I'll turn southeast and climb Hluith summit. After activating Clueth, I'll retrace my steps northwest and continue along the ridge and ascend Snowdon on the Watkin path. The path comes out about 100 metres or so below the summit itself. After activating Snowdon, I'll head southwest on the Hryd Thi path. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And I'll travel along the Booth main ridge before heading south, descending Clogwin Du into Booth Kum Lian, and then ascend Aram. After activating Aaron, I'll head east to try and rejoin the Watkin path near the ford, and from here I'll return to the car park. So the, the bottom part of this trail is quite uh, easy going, it's quite smooth, quite flat in, in real terms, uh, nicely made up, so it's uh, making a nice easy start to the walk. I think it's gonna get a lot tougher than this though. <laughs> okay, so we're about 30 minutes in. Path is uh, a lot steeper here, but um, still actually really well made up, very flat. Let me just give you a look at the view. It's very windy, not as bad as it's gonna be on top. Some cloud in the valley there, but uh, so far up here, it's not bad at all. Right, onwards and upwards. So I'm about 30 minutes in, 35 minutes in for the trip. Just crossed over the little ford, crossed over the river and carrying on, but uh, up there, is Aaron, that's gonna be my last hill. So I'm gonna be doing that one last, hopefully, and coming back down from there. But right now, I'm heading up there, and at the moment we can't see either Snowden or Hluith, because they're uh, behind this ridge, I think. Okay, I passed Gladstone Rock about 15 minutes ago. The path has gone much steeper now, but I've just come around a rocky outcrop and I think that is the beast itself, Snowden. And if I've got it right, over to the right there is Clueth. So uh, still some way to go and a very steep path ahead of me. Whew. So Sota is very much about two parts. There's the walking part, and there's the radio part, and you do have to treat them a bit separately. Uh, if you're doing a simple summit, some of them you can drive onto. Uh, most of them uh, you can walk up in uh, 20, 30 minutes, park uh, you know, very close. Uh, if conditions turn bad, if you have any problems, it's a quick walk back to the car, 30 minutes, an hour later, you're home. Other summits are a little bit more challenging. 
Uh, it's going to take me a good few hours to get up to the top of this one. If you have a problem, it's a long way to get back. It's going to take you a long time to get down. Uh, very tricky conditions to get down. And then you've got a long, long drive home. So you need to be prepared. And there's some real basic things about uh, mountain safety that uh, you should take into account and just make sure that you're ready for all weather conditions. Um, either take a boffy bag or I have an emergency sack to get into in case uh, things go wrong or in case the weather changes and I need to shelter. Uh, pretty, pretty dressed up in layers today. I'm layered up to the max so that I can peel layers off as I'm walking. I get really hot. Um, but uh, when I get near the top, it's going to start getting very cold, especially with that wind chill. And uh, it's going to be a, a question of just pacing myself so I don't get too sweaty, um, but uh, at the same time, I don't get too cold. Ah, so uh, brought the uh, no phone coverage up here, as you can imagine, on the top of uh, this mountain. So um, I've brought a two meter handheld just as an emergency backup. It's not saying it's going to work, but uh, at least it's a backup in case I need to try and call for help. There's a couple of other walkers up here uh, ahead of me, so I know I'm not the only person up here, uh, but I am traveling on my own, so um, I've had to be a bit careful. I've uh, given somebody a map to tell them exactly what route I'm taking, what time I was leaving, and what time I expect to be at certain points on my route. If I can get a message to them, I will, but at least they know where I am, uh, when I was supposed to be at certain places, and they're expecting a call when I get back. So. Uh, uh, it's a, just a, a simple safety feature if you're traveling on your own. Right, that's enough of a break. Let me uh, get climbing again. Okay, I'm at about 650 meters, just over an hour and a half into the walk. Uh, I'm just on the final um, little approach to the ridge that runs between Hlueth and Snowdon. So it's a little bit steep here now. Uh, the temperatures drop right off. It's very cold. Uh, all the water here now is frozen and starting to get a bit of snow on the ground. I'm climbing in uh, late March, so it's still quite chilly at the moment. Uh, really going to feel the cold when I get to the ridge, though. I think the wind is is icy. Real, real wind chill factor. So in a minute, I'm going to peel off some of these layers and. Um, and put a waterproof, uh, windproof jacket on uh, to just try and keep some of the wind chill off. I don't want to get too hot and sweaty, so I'll thin off the layers a little bit. Fantastic views from up here. Uh, just amazing. Beautiful. I can uh, obviously see uh, Aaron over there, which I'm going to be uh, activating later, hopefully. Um, and uh, Snowden to my right, and Hlueth. Uh, I'm never going to say that right in Welsh, um, to my to my left. Oh, just taking a little break and then I'm going to get climbing again. Oh, okay, I'm nearing the ridge uh, now that goes between Lerth and Snowdon. Uh, the path is much less distinct now. It's uh, a bit snowy up here. And uh, I'm having to pick my way up through the, the snow and the rocks. Uh, so I've got to try and find a track up through here to the ridge and then make my way up to the right to uh, the summit. So Luth is being, proving to be quite a challenge. There's no uh, clear route up this mountain. Uh, if there is a path, it's covered with snow, but I don't think there's a distinct track. So I'm just having to pick my way up slowly and very, very carefully. Uh, everything's covered in ice and snow, so it's uh, a bit of a death trap. Lewith Summit was empty, surprisingly sheltered, and had amazing views, the best of the day. And in a moment, I'm going to be ascending that. So that's going to make me sweat a bit. 
<laughs> but lovely. I've just tucked myself out of the wind here. It's, it's very cold when you're out in the wind, but uh, tucked down behind these rocks, it's not bad. So I'm going to stop and have some food and then uh, carry on up to the summit of Snowdon. The summit of Snowdon was very windy and very busy with visitors climbing the Lamberis and Freed Thee Path. I tucked in behind the cairn at the summit to work a few stations on FM, but the wind chill was about minus 10 degrees C, so I didn't last long. I got a quick photo of the trig point, but standing upright on the summit was incredibly difficult in the high winds. Okay, sadly I've not been able to record very much because uh, my battery on my phone is going flat, but um, I've just finished activating um, Snowdon Summit and I'm just making my way along this ridge here now, and then we'll follow the ridge round to Arran which is just down there in the uh, middle of the screen. So uh, snowy and slippy up here, but um, very, very windy. I'm hoping that uh, when I descend a little bit, it'll be uh, a little bit sheltered, but uh, otherwise a lot easier going down than it is going up. Although I've got a little bit more of going up uh, the other side of that ridge to, <laughs> to, to reach the summit. Uh, good so far, I haven't been able to activate um, 20 meters. Although I, had, um, I did on uh, Lueth, um, and I, I thought I was just very, very lucky getting a, a wind-free spot. And uh, the top of Snowdon was absolutely blowing a hooli and covered in people. So uh, I just operated two meters there. So um, hopefully we'll get uh, some two meter in the log. And if the conditions aren't too bad down there, I'll put up a 20 meter end fed and um, work a bit of CW as well. I'm on the top of Aaron now. It's taking a little while to get up here. I am absolutely knackered. Fantastic views though still. Weather's still really good. And I'm just going to uh, fire up the two metre handheld, see if I can work a few uh, two metre stations uh, to activate the summit. <sighs> Nearly there. After working a few stations on two metres from Aaron, I descended from the summit heading east. I failed to follow my planned route correctly and found myself descending an incredibly steep section in the area called the Sheepfold. I don't recommend this route and on tired legs it was really treacherous. All in all my day's activation took about 10 hours and netted about 21 contacts with chasers and one summit to summit. A highly recommended challenge but not one to take on without some training and a good bit of planning. Okay I hope you've enjoyed that guys. Get out there and enjoy your radio.